So I'm setting up for a live stream um, that we have tomorrow at a venue in Green Bay, but I wanted to document some of the process for doing the preparations for that. Um, so I'm just gonna walk you through really quick. ATEM Mini Pro uh, Extreme ISO set up here. It's in the drawer, pulls out, monitor, all that, with the power conditioner on the top. All of that, I already have it all set up, but just to give you a real quick kind of understanding, we have um, our, what's simulating the internet source. So I have one Cat5 cable that's plugging into the network switch located here in the back. That network switch would then uh, is also where we're getting connection for our laptop. I don't have any cameras plugged in or any sources at the moment, but uh, what this is going to show is a bit of the setup for the switcher with getting set up to stream to YouTube, uh, which is the destination that will be um, streamed to for tomorrow. It's an on Broadway, which is like the district. Uh, for downtown Green Bay, it's an on Broadway, like state of the state of the union or state of the district type thing. For every live stream, you'll have the the switcher set up, a monitor, a couple cases with a handful of other things. So but let's dive right into the setup here. Um, once we are connected, once we know that we are connected to the to the same network that the that the switcher is on. Which, by the way, we're doing that with. Uh, it's just this. It's just a Cat5 cable, or Cat6 cable, some kind of Ethernet cable with the Apple adapter to Thunderbolt. That's how we're getting network on here. Wi-Fi, it can be fine um, since we're just using this to control the ATEM. Um, but since we'll also use this to monitor the stream, we're gonna just. If we can get this hardwired in, that's preferred. So uh, we can see here on the, on the screen here that um, everything's good on the network and you can easily confirm that by opening up our ATEM software control um, window and we have um, and we have connection and as I'm pressing these buttons here on the switcher, you can kind of see some things changing. So that uh, confirms that this is connected to that. Okay, so the main thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to YouTube. So I'll open up Safari, YouTube. It's because that's where we're gonna be streaming to tomorrow <clears throat> from the Harmonic Productions um, page. So we're gonna go up here to the top right, um, YouTube Studio, and we wanna make sure that we're on this account with the logo. channel um, when we log in we're going to go to manage videos it's going to pull up our YouTube studio uh, we're going to go to content live and then what we're looking for specifically is, is it's called the control room so on this event that's set up, we're going to go to view and live control room. It's going to bring us to this page, which is essentially the control page for the live stream for the event on the back end. And so we've got uh, our stream key here so we can show that. Um, we're going to copy that <clears throat> and then in the ATEM software control, uh, since that is copied, we're going to uh, go to output live stream uh, change our platform to YouTube server primary is fine and then we're just going to paste that into there and then for tomorrow we're just going to be streaming medium for the quality um, I know that the, that the switcher is connected to the internet so let's just do a quick test for streaming cool so what we saw there was the on air was uh, blinking and then it stopped blinking it's not solid red that's good that means 
there's a connection to the to the server and then on the YouTube studio we can see that it's it made the connection and it is live so if we were to change so if we were to change a source um, in the in our program here and just pop it through color one color two and go back to our media player and then and if we check out here, that we can see that change happening. So it's actually not that far behind in terms of the, the stream settings and all that. That looks like that is good to go. It's important to note that in this view, uh, this is just on the back end. We are not broadcasting any of this to the audience. So uh, this would be the button that we press at the, at the time that we we'll want to go live uh, to the actual audience, uh, even though we're live streaming from the ATEM, it's not live to the audience. This is just uh, streaming to the transceiver or encoder, whatever you want to call that. Um, this stream um, URL, the, the, the URL, URL server is already set up. Um, let me just stop this. Is already set up within the, um, within the YouTube configuration so um, in terms of the platform and that happens in a XML file which is super nerdy and techy so anyways but that's how um, we set up the stream key and prepping the ATEM for for a live stream to YouTube uh, specific um, if it was you know to to Facebook or Twitch or Twitter or Vimeo or there's some other options here that we use for other clients but um, streaming video provider show showware is another thing so that's the platform but then each each um, platform or each live stream event gets its own unique stream key and then we copy and we paste that in here and that tells the ATEM where in the internet world it needs to actually connect to. There's one more thing that I'm gonna to do to prepare for tomorrow and I'm going to, I'm going to get a graphic um, and load that into the switcher here as a backup. Cool. Had to get the graphic <laughs> um, for, my, for my iPad. So, um, I just basically airdrop it to myself, but um, it's in my downloads, so I'm just going to rename this on Broadway. Well, I'm gonna put that. Yeah, we'll oh, keep it downloads, it's fine. So from the downloads, I can drag this into here. Um, so now, if I drag it in um, to media player one, so there's two media players, um, one and two, where we can just load up graphics here, um, still images, and put that in one of the media players. So in our switcher control now, we have media player one and two. And uh, if I move my coffee in our camera, you'll be able to see actually a little a little hard to see, but um, that that graphics now in preview, you know, can fade that into the program. What we're going to end up having is that just in the media player or media pool, yeah, media player um, as a backup. So in case anything happens, like you know, that that's there to use. It's better than like a black screen if a camera goes down or um, probably even to start the to start the event. Um, we will take a feed from their PowerPoint, which will probably have, which will have that graphic, but in case that goes down, we have a, a quick, you know, uh, solution just to fade to. Um, we're gonna save all of this. To, we're gonna save this desktop, restore files, and then 
I'll do a new folder in here for the event is 2.22.22 on Broadway. And we're going to save that in there. In fact, um, I'm going to take the graphic. I'm going to take the graphic and I'm going to take all our make sure all of our assets and things that we need uh, and make sure it's in that folder. So store files on Broadway. Take that in here. And then everything we need to do that, to do this event, is going to be in that folder. So I'm going to save as um, into that folder, which is on our desktop, store files, 222 on Broadway, and then 222 restore. Um, and then I'm going to select all save that and then you know if we were to lose something let's, let's just delete that delete that uh, if we make it if something happens you know we're gonna mess up our, our stream key and then we should be able to restore XML file. We're going to select all. Restore that. Boom. Now we've got our stream key back. I mean, in here, it, it's pulling from, it's good to know how this works, it's pulling from the location on the laptop, is my understanding. That might be inaccurate, but so always just make sure you have your laptop connected to the A10 to the network or directly. It's fine. Anyways. Uh, about recording, but we're gonna, it's kind of a similar thing. We're gonna, under the right hand side, under output, by the record stream section, we give this a, a name. So let's actually do uh, on Broadway District 22. Um, let's just resave this. Gonna, now that file name is going to be saved in there. And then we're going to do one quick thing uh, with our backup ATEM because we want to we actually want to prepare that uh, as a backup in case something happens with this. Uh, we have an ATEM Mini Pro, and so I'll show you that here. So I'm going to actually turn this guy off. You'll see that disconnect here. Do want to save this just so I don't lose this and then let's do a restore of the Broadway that's our that's the latest one that we did yeah that's fine it's gonna give us a little excellent so this is what we want uh, in the event that something happens with the ATEM so this is what we want uh, to always have. If we're doing something with the with the extreme, um, we're gonna program all of that with the stream key and 
you know, the recording name and all that stuff. And we're going to get that set, set and file, file save as all of our things onto the desktop here and then um, make sure that we can load that into, that we can connect to our A10A Pro um, and load that same thing. Um, Cause if you can see here, we can actually stream from from now our A10 Mini Pro uh, in case the A10 Mini Extreme ISO goes down. So that's a mouthful. Anyways, I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot for tomorrow. We will have a camera one as a wide shot of the entire space. Camera two is a close up and then we'll have an HDMI signal or feed coming in from a PowerPoint computer. And so, it's going to be pretty simple, I'm just going straight to YouTube. I will probably do a different video about how to set up the YouTube um, event uh, beforehand. So, thanks for watching.